Welcome back. Just about 6.15. Here we go on this Tuesday evening, everybody. Uh, if you live around Grand Rapids and northward, a fair amount of clouds have been mixing in with that sun this afternoon. But further southward, Kalamazoo and Battle Creek, uh, look at it in Battle Creek. Just a couple clouds around, so best sunshine to the south, more cloud cover. Check out Ravenna off to the north, even mostly cloudy at times. We've got a temperature of 51 degrees in GR, so yeah, a little bit cooler today. Topped out at 62 yesterday, our peak number today in GR, 54, and we're coming down, I think, substantially for tomorrow and Thursday, so it is going to be cool for the next two days, especially, and you'll want to have your winter coat ready to go. Folks, there's a chance there could even be a snowflake overnight tomorrow into early Thursday morning. Nothing to get excited about, nothing accumulating, but uh, gives you an idea of uh, the type of atmosphere that will be overhead for the uh, short term. 51 degrees, I've got it 7 o'clock locally, partly cloudy skies, and we'll maintain, I think, uh, generally partly cloudy conditions here in GR. Again, fewer clouds down to the south as temperatures slowly start to slip back into the lower 40s. You know, last night uh, even got colder than anticipated. How about 35 in GR? Was there some patchy frost out there? I guess that's possible. Yeah, I wasn't up early, but uh, maybe there were some outlying locations that uh, did pick up on a little bit of that. And if you didn't, well, there are going to be multiple opportunities, uh, I think, as we go through the remainder of this work week and even into early next week as these overnights will be quite chilly. More on that to come. Upper 40s, though, for highs on Wednesday and Thursday. Not much rain, though. You know, we've been mentioning this. Well, a sprinkle, a shower, maybe all these days. If you go back several, uh, never did we predict any big rains around here. But uh, really, it's been dry Monday and Tuesday. I think tomorrow shakes out dry as well. But overnight into Thursday morning, best chance for a few light showers. We're not talking about a whole lot of rain in the rain gauge, just enough to make the pavement damp. And that will exit by Thursday afternoon. We're free of any big storms, though. Major areas of low pressure, any chances for severe weather or additional tornadoes. I don't see it for quite some time because of this uh, big trough of low pressure is going to be impacting the eastern United States. And I got to tell you, looking at these long range models, uh, there's some chance there could be a cooler influence. Uh, I think certainly right on through the remainder of April, but perhaps into May at times as well. So that's kind of interesting. All the ridging and high pressure out west temperatures. There they are generally in the 50s, except for the front end of this seven day tomorrow, upper 40s. Same on Thursday. Let's go to the temperature board running in the upper 40s to around 50 degrees at this time until you get further southward. I-94, all that sunshine readings running in the mid to upper 50s and down to the Indiana line as well. All the real warm air suppressed down into Georgia, Mississippi and uh, Alabama and southward into Florida. Not too shabby there. 86 degrees in Tampa looking a lot better than our uh, low 50s at this point. West winds at 10 to 15, even 20 miles per hour. This area of low pressure doesn't have a whole lot of moisture with it, but it will slowly creep down to the southeast and increase our cloud cover for tomorrow. Watch it right now, though. A lot of breaks in those clouds overall. Uh, overnight tonight, though, into tomorrow morning. I think we start off with some sun, but by the afternoon, beginning to cloud over a little bit more so. That's not to say there can't be a few breaks, but I do believe turning out mostly cloudy and then overnight into Thursday morning, Doug and Janice, a little wave of moisture comes through, dampen the ground. Could there be a snowflake? It's possible, but nothing accumulating. A lot of clouds on Thursday. Temperatures in the upper 40s once again. Then we go towards the weekend. You want to know what's happening? Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Clouds, some sunshine. Temps, upper 50s. All right. Thank you for that, Anthony. Prosecutors will not be.